there are books out that are very popular books uh, from uh, North America that I can think of, but which really do re redefine work. They've, they've not understood uh, the difference between working for the Lord and doing the work of the Lord. We all have to work for the Lord uh, in any job that we do. The way we do our work is is really important that I'm kind to the cleaner, that I am uh, submissive to the boss, that I am... Yeah, there's, there's, the ways of work are very important. Honesty, integrity in my office situation. That, that's all very important. And it's very important that we are uh, members of society, gaining the benefits from society and contributing society by doing our work. So 2 Thessalonians chapter 3 is a whole chapter on the subject of the importance of Christians to, to work in society and not to be a burden for, on other people. But that is not the work of the Lord. That's just the work for the Lord. That's what every Christian can and should be doing, whether they are raising their children at home or teaching children in the school. They are working as Christian people, and so they should. And it's a wonderful thing that we do. But the work of the Lord. No, no, that's spelled out in the next chapter in 1 Corinthians 16, when he goes on to talk about Timothy doing the work of the Lord, which was preaching the gospel and planting new churches and seeing people built up for eternal life. That's a different kind of work altogether. But that distinction between the work for the Lord and the work of the Lord, has it's not just been lost, it's been taught against. It's actually, people are saying that being a concert pianist is as important Christianly as proclaiming Jesus in the deepest, darkest jungles. It's not. I like concert pianists and I, I like hearing nice music and it's wonderful that we can have such things, but no one is saved by hearing a concert pianist. That's not the way of salvation. And so I could have the most beautiful auditory experiences of life, listening to the most magnificent music and go to hell. And I can hear some poor person standing up and telling me about Jesus and moved out of hell, go to heaven, which is the important work of the Lord. Jesus Christ came into the world to train concert pianists. It's not what the Bible teaches. We're not... He didn't come into the world to train us to be environmentalists, to train us to be engineers, to train us to be doctors. Do I like it? environmentalists, engineers and doctors? Love them. <laughs> that's not what Jesus Christ came into the world to do. And that's not what he sends his people into the world to do. That's not the cause of the gospel. And it's not the work of the Lord. And remember that passage in verse 58 of chapter 15 comes at the end of the whole chapter on the resurrection, on the age to come that Jesus has established by his death and resurrection. Uh, it's not about how we are to drive our taxi. Uh, nothing wrong with driving a taxi. It's really good that we have taxi drivers. And Christians, if they drive taxis, should do so honestly and properly. But that's not what is going to save anybody. The theological stream you're pushing against there is most directly linked to Tim Keller. I mean, he's been the most famous person who's um, has been promoting that line of argument. That, I mean, you're clearly disagreeing with him. Totally and completely on this topic, yes. 